On a search and destroy mission for a microscopic virus with ultraviolet light. New technologies for air travel in the new normal of a pandemic. From antiviral robots to the increasingly common thermal screening monitors, airlines like Qatar Airways are going the extra mile to keep travelers safe. But between lockdowns, closed borders and travel restrictions, passengers are few. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic wiped out an estimated $125 billion of revenue in the airline industry. Many fleets were grounded for good as airlines closed shop. Hamid International Airport in Doha was no different with Qatar Airways hit hard. Planes, on average, are 40 percent full. We had the same uh, negative impact and a drastic fall in passengers than any other airline right. in the world. Right. But the difference at Qatar Airways, we continuously right. flow through the pandemic. The company slashed 20 percent of its workforce in 2020, and more cuts are expected. The fleet of Airbus A380s are proving to be an overhang on recovery. Not only are their CO2 emissions high, but their passenger capacity is unlikely to be matched by demand. You've grounded your A380s. Uh, for, uh, at this stage, yes, and we do not plan to fly a lot after the pandemic. Why? Because uh, you have today, if you fly a 380, 80% more CO2 emission versus a 300, uh, an Airbus 350. And it's just not responsible towards the planet to do that. Qatar Airways has expanded routes, but air travel may take a while to recover despite glimmers of hope. The US market is now rebounding more. Uh, the African market is uh, signing, it is showing some signs also. Qatar Airways is a strong advocate for vaccine passports as a necessary move to save the industry. So do you think that vaccine passports are going to become something that are going to, is going to be implemented, a thing of the future? I think yes, it's, it, it has to be to simplify the life of the customer and, 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 and to go back to a, to, to, to a more uh, seamless process. Qatar Airways is working with the International Air Transport Association on a digital health pass with standardized rules. But vaccine passports open the door to potential discrimination. Less vaccinated regions, such as Africa, may not be given equal status as those from rich countries. And besides, corporate travel has a competitor. Do you think that there's a sense that corporate travel doesn't need to be as extensive, for example, as it was before because, you know, there's Zoom? <laughs> no, yes. Um, you know, the more I work with Zoom, and I worked a lot with Zoom, to be very honest, in the last uh, months, the more I feel and I think that I need to see my business partners. Yeah, but you have to because say that. Because if you're interested... <laughs>